Hi, I'm Chris from Air Windows, and I have a follow-up on a plugin that I've recently done. This shouldn't take very long to explain. This is DubSub, and this is DubCenter. As promised, I have done a version of DubSub that has an entirely centered base so that it will fill in uh, low frequencies better for you. And here, I'll demonstrate how that works right now. Here's old alien kittens. And DubSub has stereo bass. So the uh, content is not necessarily centered. Dub Center has centered bass, so the reinforcement is entirely in the middle. And that's useful for if you say have your lows heavily reinforced like this, for instance. Let's just duplicate those settings over here. Voicing about 194 or so. So, now one thing I'm noticing is Dub Center seems to be about 60B hotter. Something funny is going on there. I think it has to do with making it be mono and like, go figure, but you know, what the hey, you have more output gain on there. They're just zero to one controls anyway, or minus one to one controls anyway. So let's see, 632. So this would be dub sub. And as you can hear, the bass is not being exactly centered. Whereas with dub center, the bass is completely centered. And this is the case for, say, uh, the extra subs that you can add. And you have grind on tap as well. So basically, yeah, this, and of course, dry wet, is how you'd be applying this. So we'll take dub sub away because we already know what that is. I've already done a video on it. And dub center can be used kind of like this. Voicing down to here, all wet. A bunch of extra gain in here. This is all center. And then you got dry wet. And then. You got subsonic reinforcement that is directly in the middle. So, and we've got a bit shift gain going on here, which is why this isn't clipping your outputs. Or why well, it probably isn't clipping your outputs. And of course, we could also do this weird. Um, subs voicing thing. And we'll use that to just generate huge noise. See, now that's being done entirely with the sub. just a little bit of it brought in with dry wet and again what we're doing is we're adding this it's kind of crazy because it's raw dub sub this isn't the polished version but you can tell it's a lot of huge very deep crazy bass going on and then with dry wet Need I say more? We've just added a kind of insane overpowering super subsonics.
And that's uh, some crazy stuff, but it's being added only in mono. It's only in the absolute center. So if you need to add crazy subsonics or warmth, like with the uh, bass drive and bass voicing and so on, which is more like a two-tape head bump style bass boost, and subs in dub sub is more just raw insanity. It's not very well controlled at all, and the range of settings is just wild. Um, you can add that kind of enormous thunderousness and it's coming in only on the lows and we can add it in anything for instance here is a track that has virtually no super subsonics and we'll throw in a bunch of the and that's the subs on this track it's very uncontrolled You can really hear kind of the snarl on this one, so maybe it'd be a better idea to go to We'll take the subs out entirely. We'll take some of the bass drive out. And this is just raw bass. Oh, and I haven't even adjusted crossover. That's something else from DubSub that will help you manage this stuff. So now we've got a extreme lows boost out of this. And I can sort of voice it down to the real lows there. And now we go back to this dry little thing. And we have a uh, low frequency reinforcement. And the low frequency reinforcement is only in mono. It's a neat trick. It's something that you can't do with just regular EQ. And the raw track is still being handled in stereo. Like your real information is still stereo bass. But the emphasis being added here, the emphasis being added is only in mono. So everything that you add in this zone, like hear that low frequency thumping? We'll add some of that. And that's only in mono. So we have a useful little technique for this dialing reasonableness in or unreasonableness or this crazy grind stuff I'm gonna hold option down and anyways that's dub center if you want the full uh, explanation of what it is and how it works I've got dub sub out and Dubsub explains a lot of this stuff at much more length. But Dub Center is the same thing, except for I think the making it into mono boosted the gain of it and stuff. So, you know, don't try to use exactly the same settings on it. I'd really prefer that people just use their ears and set things accordingly. But um, here's the follow up and. It's not entirely done because what I do also have is the follow up to Dub Center is a thing I'm calling Bass Kit. And Bass Kit is about taking this madness and reducing it to a reasonable and well behaved bass and subsonics reinforcement plugin in mono that is so clean you could use it on the master bus and very well behaved and not prone to insane wrong settings and stuff. Dub Center is more sort of your hacky, just do whatever you want with it, and it may do very strange things. But hey, it's free. It's supported by Patreon. So if for some reason Dub Center is the one plugin 
that I do all year that you'd be like, oh my God, I would pay $100 for it. Well, you can jump on the Patreon for like $50 a year approximately. And it would be the same as if I was selling these commercially because I used to sell them for 50 bucks a pop. Uh, perpetual license. These days I give you a source code as well. Um, back in the day I wasn't giving source code, but I was doing uh, $50, uh, own it forever, and all of that kind of thing. So if this is the one that you would actually use forever and ever and make part of your world, and you would buy it for 50 bucks uh, to keep it forever, it's not rented or anything like that, then uh, jump on the Patreon. You should be able to find where that is. I don't make a big fuss about it, but um, people do. People jump on the Patreon and help me out. And that's why I'm still here doing this stuff. As such, I'm glad you're still paying attention. And I have a lot of stuff coming up that you might be a little bit interested in. Most notably, DS is coming up. And DS is kind of amazing. But more about that later. Thank you.